Thank you so much. I hope I should be on screen. And we go. Welcome to the audience um, and uh, welcome everybody who is uh, on the monitors and live on the stage. Um, I brought you some pictures and it's always hard to speak after Rick, which I know very well from the past and, and, and our joint sessions. And, um, and, and Nick was speaking about uh, kids and uh, therefore I want to start with kids. That is, uh, I'm sitting here at the moment in the, in the Alps between Austria and, and Germany. And this is my one of my son, I have twins, uh, Lukas and Johannes, and he was five years old, just 2,000 meters away from here when he was going the first time the red slopes with five years. And as a father, I was super proud. And he was falling down, standing up, falling down, standing up. And the end of the day, he was at the top of the mountain. And you see, he's still smiling. And this is exactly the reason why we work with startup companies. And we not only work with the big guys, we work with people because they have no fear and little respect and they change the world and they are the round packs and the square holes. My name is Frank Salskev, I'm head of innovation and ventures and thank you for the introduction. And we are already over the thousand, we are already supporting over 1,150 startups. So we're growing very quickly across Europe. And I'll give you a little bit overview what we do and where also in future Latvia, because we speak with the people in your country and we speak with the colleagues from Reactor and we're working on the dream to have also joining the ESA business incubation family. And when we're looking a little bit to space, we always start with events and ideas. And your Deep Tech Atelier is one of them, but also things like where we have ideas across the world. And this is, a, um, um, uh, and the 500 participants are teams, 500 teams worldwide thinking what we can do with space. Because when we're looking to launchers, launchers is great, it inspires the people, but it's only 2% really of the big space market. And there's much more to come. So we have a lot of ideas. We will bring that into the innovation funnel and we focus really on entrepreneurship and also uh, supporting startups and helping them with the later product development, scale up and internationalization. We don't do that alone. We pick that. We, we have the, the business application for products, the incubation for startups done by the network and the investment forum also helps to connect that to the investor community. And this is a little bit the map. And I think there is a spot which we, we have uh, no dot yet, uh, which is in your country, and we have to change that. And we do that really with the right partners. And only the partner network is the really um, the, 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 the secret behind of our success because ASA is good, but we are only as good as the best people which we have in Europe and also with the international partner. So it's the power of smart people across Europe, which knows the language, knows the people. And Reactor is a very good uh, example for that, are embedded in the ecosystem. Where we come is with an international scale, we come with money, we come with technology, how we come with marketing, how, but we also bring that family together. And this has grown over 17 years. And we have started, and this is one of 66 locations in Austria we have. So we have about 22 ESA incubation centers in over 60, now 66 locations, where really the point of sales is what space is bringing to the daily life, but also to the future life. There's a nice saying, uh, it's an Irish saying, that on the shoulders of the giants you see further. We want to be for the startups and the new ideas, the shoulders. We're lifting off our kids and our ideas on the shoulders that they can see further. And this is the reason why it's so important that we also embed it. And that is a big family. So you have not only one shoulder, you have more than one shoulder. And there's a nice saying, uh, and uh, maybe I'm using it too often. Uh, when you go fishing, you have to take care that the fish, the worm, is delicious for the fish and not for the fisher. So we also bring also the customer perspective always into the game and connect also the startup companies with the customer. So with the other words, we all together as this family are the nice uncles and aunt with a little bit of money in the pocket and the right address book. So we open the doors for the companies. And just yesterday, we spoke with the automotive industry, with Volkswagen and Audi, how we can use 5G connectivity, connecting the cars and making also the software updates live everywhere on the planet, wherever you are. The decade of space. Why I'm saying that? Because you are at the right moment, in the right place, in the right market. And there are three big pillars why space is becoming or is already the backbone of our digital industry. First is navigation. And this is more than 
the navigation in your car or on your iPhone. It's managing the electrical grid. It's the time signal which connects our cell phones. It's the time signals which makes bank transactions synchronized. The second is, of course, Earth's observation, and that is more than the weather forecast. It's how our planet is doing, good or bad. But it's also helping agriculture. It helps illegal fishing to be detected. It helps to join and solve our problems. And that is about big, big data. And the third component, which I'm already keen in to announce, is, of course, telecommunication. And that will be 5G, what Rick said, the small satellites coming from the ground. And we heard nice American US companies, um, and I have to bring a little bit the European view. Of course, we also make micro launches in, the, in, in Europe. And only in Southern Germany, so you had three launcher companies in ESA Aerospace just signed, I think this week, an exclusive agreement with the launch pad in Norway. They built a 22 meter launchers, and they just received last year a 75 million investment. I think it's at the moment the fast growing startup deep tech startup in Germany. They, I think over 100 people already raised nearly 100 million. And we don't have to go far. We all have that here. So we have great launcher companies already in Europe. Sphere. Sphere has just started a spark recently and raised with the evaluation 1.6 million, I think. So this is a company we have supported in several projects in Asia. So and this is located more than one country. It's in Switzerland. Uh, it's not sorry. It, it's an Austrian entrepreneur. Uh, it's in, uh, in in the UK. Uh, we we have a subsidiary in Luxembourg, and I think there's another location. So it's a good good example of a company which is also growing, and they are now listed at the stock exchange in the US. And ClearSpace, a startup from Switzerland, which makes the deep breeze possible. And it's the first time that a small startup company with less than 100, uh, 1 million seed investment received a contract from ASA with the value of 100 million. So Airbus becomes the subcontractor of this startup company. We have supported them via our ASA big in Switzerland. And Satsearch, if you want to see what is available on the market, there's a great startup company from the Netherlands. What is available? I would say it's the, it's the book of available tools and the data models where you receive what and gives transparency to the market. And my favorite, because we supported these three gentlemen, four gentlemen, when they just founded the company, Lilium Aviation. They will go also to the Spark, and at the moment they have a 3.3 billion dollar evaluation and it will go to the New York Stock Exchange. They raised over 300 million and we helped them when there were four guys with a great idea. And this is also space because it's composite, it's flight monitors, it's power management. So space is not only going rockets, space means a lot in our everyday industry and also these companies we want to support. Entrepreneurship is not a marathon. And I had my startup company with 350 people myself after I left Apple Computer. And then later I joined uh, ESA. So I know what it means to create a company. I started with two people and in the peak we had 350 people. Later we merged to a company at the stock exchange. Entrepreneurship is also not a sprint. Entrepreneurship is a decathlon. You have to do so many things at the same time or after each other. And on this journey, we and our partners want to help you. And the only thing, we don't want to have a share. Yeah, there are enough sneaky people around, around the shares. The only thing what we want to have is to get your respect. And when we have done a good job, that you tell them you got the right support. We help the kids to grow. And this is what we are aiming at. And this is the reason why I'm all being saying everybody can reach the stars. It's not far away. Rick said that. You just have to look to the sky. There's Amazing technology coming up, and you know maybe the brains, or you are the brains, or you have a business model which change the market, which makes fears in the eyes of the big corporates, which is good, because a little bit shaking the tree has never hurt an economic system. So everybody can reach the stars. The only thing what you have to do, you just have to add space. Thank you very much. <laughs>